we are given f of x and g of x and asked to find f times g of x and f times g of negative two. For number one, f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. And because f of x is equal to two x minus three and g of x equals x squared minus three x plus two, f of x times g of x is the quantity two x minus three times the quantity x squared minus three x plus two. And now we need to find the product. To do this, we distribute the two x, which gives us three products. Then we distribute to negative three, which gives us three more products. Two x times x squared equals two x cubed. 2x times negative 3x equals negative 6x squared, giving us minus 6x squared. And 2x times positive 2 is equal to positive 4x, giving us plus 4x. And now we distribute negative 3. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared, giving us minus 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 3x is positive 9x, giving us plus 9x. And finally, we have negative three times positive two, which equals negative six, giving us minus six. And now we combine like terms. We have two x squared terms, and we have two x terms. We have two x cubed, and then negative six x squared minus three x squared is negative nine x squared, giving us minus nine x squared, and four x plus nine x is 13 x, giving us plus 13 x, and we still have minus six. Now we know f times g of x equals two x cubed minus nine x squared plus 13 x minus six. For number two, we're asked to find f times g of negative two. Because we just found the function f times g of x, one way to find f times g of negative two is to substitute to negative two for x into f times g of x. The second method to find f times g of negative two is to determine f of negative two times g of negative two. In this video, we will show both methods. For the first method though, let's use f times g of x that we just found. So f times g of negative two is equal to substituting negative two for x in f times g gives us two times the cube of negative two minus nine times the square of negative two plus 13 times negative two minus six. We begin by simplifying the exponents. The cube of negative two equals negative eight. This gives us two times negative eight minus nine times the square of negative two is positive four. The next step is to multiply Two times negative eight equals negative 16. And then we have minus nine times four, which gives us minus 36. And then we have plus 13 times negative two is equal to negative 26. And we have minus six. And now we add and subtract from left to right. Negative 16 minus 36 equals negative 52. Negative 52 plus negative 26 is equal to negative 78. Negative 78 minus six equals negative 84. F times g of negative two equals negative 84. But now let's also determine f times g of negative two by determining f of negative two times g of negative two. And let's do this on the next slide. Again, f times g of negative two using the definition is equal to f of negative two times g of negative two. To find f of negative two, we substitute negative two for x into f of x, which gives us two times negative two minus three, and we have times g of negative two, which is equal to the square of negative two minus three times negative two plus two. Now we simplify inside the parentheses, then multiply. Two times negative two is equal to negative four, giving us negative four minus three times the quantity. The square of negative two is positive four. 
negative four minus three is negative seven. Here we have minus three times negative two, which is minus negative six, which is equivalent to plus six, giving us four plus six plus two. This gives us negative seven times four plus six plus two is equal to 12. And at negative seven times 12 is negative 84, of course giving us the same result. So you may notice if we hadn't already found f times g of x in number one, it would probably be faster to find f times g of negative two by using this method here. I hope you found this helpful.